guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to share with you a wallet that I had picked up from Bottega di Veneta's online site. And this isn't actually a wallet, it's technically classified as a coin purse or a card case or something like that. It's, it's the same size as a zippy compact wallet and it's the same structure except the zippy compact wallet, you know how it has the pre designated or the designated card slots well this one doesn't it has three compartments and i'll show you when i open it and i got it today um i unboxed it from the shipping box but i have it here like unopened from the um the protective veneta box and this is actually an exchange i originally got it um earlier this week but the color i ordered was it looked like royal navy blue on the website but when it came it was so bright purple and like not like bright purple but like purple like a bright version of that purple and I don't like that tone of color and it just I thought about it and it was like why am I gonna you know keep something that I don't actually like love all that much because I really don't like that color so I sent it back and I ordered this one instead and the other difference was that that one was a partial zip one and this one is a full around zip but it's small and normally i don't like full around zip wallets but when i was zipping that one it was very easy to zip and my hand naturally tried to go like down the other way so i think the reason i didn't because i had a wallet it was like a no name brand uh, wallet it was really pretty it was like a mint green color it was really good quality leather i used it for like over a year or something it was fine and it was the same layout as the Louis Vuitton Zippy Compact Wallet and the reason I didn't like that one is I thought it was because it was like full around zip and it was like hard to get things out but it was actually because it had the pre-designated, um, sorry, the designated card slots and that's what I don't like because they're so hard to get out and that's what I also didn't like in the Emily Wallet is that the cards are so hard to like get in and out of like when they have their specific slot so I think I like just the use of, not the usability, but the ease of use of having things in one spot and just having them in an order that I like. The way that, because um, I've been using my old wallet system, which is having a, a monogram clay, and this time I added in like a little card case. You've probably seen it. It was like the Kate Spade one, like talked about it several times. And I use that for my most used cards, and then I use the clay for. Like all my other cards, I like I don't use it every day, and um, I really enjoyed using that. And I noticed the only reason I didn't like using that system is because I don't have a good place in my mind. Like I don't like where I put coins and cash. Like I don't, I haven't found a pouch or a wallet or something that I could put cash and coins into that I was happy with. And I'm using a Rebecca Minkoff pouch, and that's the one I've been using for. Oh, I don't know a year a year and a half and I just don't like it and I haven't found anything that I do like and I considered buying maybe another clay but then it's like I really don't want to and then I considered buying the um, Ompron clay but I don't want to buy another Louis Vuitton wallet type thing I mean I know it's not a wallet technically but I was gonna use it like a wallet and it has the glazing and I'm not really trustful of their glazing at the moment and so I decided to look around again because I was after I got the Emily wallet I was set on trying to get another like long wallet but then after I started using my old system for a month I realized how much I love that and how much it works for me because I carry so few things with me that if I had a place to put cash into it would like, make my life complete basically so I found this little guy and it's here now and I'm so excited because hopefully it'll work for me and this color is definitely more me probably so I did film that first unboxing but the lighting was so bad because we were having like scattered brainstorms and it was just like this all the time and I didn't like the video so I kind of took it out but I guess I'll not reimburse you I'll give you this unboxing to compensate I'll compensate <laughs> okay so it comes in this envelope it says Bottega Veneta right here can't see that whatever it's a really nice thick envelope and it is sealed and that's where the invoice and the return shipping comes with oh and um they offer express complimentary shipping and 
the first one I got was shipped from the U.S. Distribution Center in New Jersey because they had it in stock and it was shipped via to UPS Two Day Air and this one was not in stock in the United States so it was shipped from their warehouse in Italy to New Jersey and then they shipped it next day. So I got this in three days and it was complimentary which was awesome and it comes in a really nice thick paper stock for the invoice and let's see. Okay, I'll sh I cover my name and address and everything else is going to be fine. That's what it looks like. Oh, you can't even see that. I don't know what the point is. I was going to show you the name of the, but I'll just link, I'll link the item below. And then it comes in this beautiful dark brown box with a waxed leather cord. It has gold lettering embossed and this box is made in Italy. Let's open it. It's like a really nice thick box and inside has the dust bag inside, the dust bag has this like fuzzy texture and it is 100 percent cotton and it's also made in italy and it has the tiger veneta embossed in the front it has like a, the waxed cord again and okay i'm not gonna peek okay let's just take this out Okay, this color is so much more me. So pretty, it's a bright, bright red. I love it. Wow, this is beautiful. If you had seen my reaction to the first one, I was not very excited about it. The first thing I said, I was like, it's really purple. But this one is really pretty. It's red, like bright red. And it looked more orange on the website, but I was, I looked on, uh, Neiman's and Barney's etc and like for this color it's called Verduccio oh Vesuvio Vesuvio and it looked red because it looked orange on their side their lighting's a little off it looks like this and it has the um, famous woven pattern and it is lambskin it is so soft and it smells so good was amazing and this tag is required for returns that's what it says on there because that's what the other one said oh, i can't stop looking at it it's so beautiful so soft and the reason i was going for the deca veneta is because i am interested in purchasing a handbag from them and i don't own anything from tech veneta so i thought what better way to test out their leathers and quality than to have a wallet that you can use every single day so this is what it looks like on the inside and this is full leather it's leather on the inside as well and i really like that because i don't like it when they do non-leather interiors and those two cards are just like placeholders they don't have anything on them and then this card oops is the like the control card because this is a carrying company and they have the control cards like gucci and saint laurent um balenciaga etc and then it has an envelope is the tag of Veneta on it and on the inside it says there's a booklet type of thing and it says that this leather the leather used for this traditionally crafted item has been naturally stained without any chemical protection so I really like that I really like the whole natural thing and here it is sorry I'll show you in a moment because I want to check it out myself it smells so so good okay and this is what i meant by it has three slots in the middle and what i wanted to, not in the middle three slots on the inside and what i wanted to do is i wanted to put cards in one and then maybe my like most used cards that i use all the time maybe in the middle and with receipts and stuff and then cash and coins in the other compartment and i like that it's leather because you can clean it much better than if it was um textile or anything and right here it's embossed tech of Veneta made in Italy and then in here there's a tag might be hard to see and on the back side it says originality certified and there's a number and I'm assuming that's their authenticity system and it doesn't come with any kind of authenticity cards or anything um, but it's so beautiful and it is so soft 
like that. And I don't really hear a lot of people talking about Bottega Veneta or a lot of other companies that I'm kind of interested in. I've really had my eye on in Bali, so if anyone has any experience with Bali, please let me know because I'm really interested in trying them out. I mean, they've been around for, well, like 150, 200 years. I want to try out their products. So here it is, so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited to finally have a wallet and I'm so much happier with this one. I'm so glad that I decided to return that one. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Zip it around. The zipper is not, it's smooth, like the zipper is smooth, but I think because I haven't worn it in, it like, maybe because the way I'm pulling it, the zipper is smooth. Like when I pull it, I don't have the differentiation between like the different sides. It kind of just goes all around like a circle. We'll see if it'll get a little more worn in when I use it, but. I'm so happy I decided to go for this color because this is so much more me. I love red. Red is my favorite color. Let's see by my nails. So pretty. Wow. And this is a lot, um, this has like an orange red undertone. But I am so glad that I decided to go with my gut instinct and return that one. Oh, and this is, um, okay, so this is the categorized as a mini wallet. And it is $350, which is cheaper than, well, I mean, I don't know what the Zippy Compacts costs, but this is full leather. And if you, I was debating between the Enfant Clay and this is actually cheaper. And hopefully it's going to last a lot better than the glazing. Oh, and the first one I ordered had the partial zip and it had glazing on the side and that glazing was so soft and so smooth and so well done that it was complete like night and day compared to how poorly done the glazing was on my Emily wallet. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was insightful, interesting, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I, I hope. I don't even know what I'm talking about now, but definitely like I would, I would really recommend at least like checking them out. The reason I was even like had my eye on Bottega Veneta is because when, I, I mean, like I said, I don't really have any stores here where I live and like designer stores. And so when we were in Hawaii, we went into the Bottega Veneta boutique when we were shopping and I was so like in awe of how soft their leather was and how good the store smelled and how like just how like soft it is so so soft I mean it is like amazing lambskin and I've looked at pre-owned items and their lambskin does not get like completely misshapen and scratched and damaged like other brands tend to do so I am really excited to see how it's gonna hold up because I have my eye on a bag that they have and I would really like to get it sometime in the future so I would really recommend checking them out but I mean obviously I can't yet like speak for their longevity or their long-term quality so we'll see on that but um, for now I'm gonna get into trying this out and using it and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye